Welcome back to the Anglian Museum of Cups and Saucers. Since undertaking a programme of rationalisation, the quality of the museum's collections have become internationally renowned and many more people are making inquiries about the history of cups and saucers. To ensure the collection is easily accessible to its new audience, the museum is looking at how it can use digital technology to connect with people. As a starting point, the museum is just beginning to explore what a digital strategy might look like. Ah, hello. Sorry to interrupt, but I've got news for you. We're ahead of the game. We already have a digital strategy. A terribly useful document. It's really helped to streamline our approach to digital. In fact, it's changing the culture of our museum in an exciting way. We've learned digital technology is all about sharing information with our audience. And having created our digital strategy, everyone here has discovered it's actually quite good fun. Here, let me show you. <coughs> Hi, Marge. Hi, Ted. Now, here we are in the collection store, the engine room of the museum, if you will. Getting our collections digitised is key to our strategy. The team have decided which collection should be digitised first, and Marge and Ted are doing a splendid job at creating fabulous images and updating the catalogue. They've done their research on getting the right equipment and creating the best quality pictures, and we're all getting very handy with the camera, lights and a scanner now. The great thing with getting our collections digitised this way is we can put them on our website. Look, you can click here to see our star items. And this section takes you to a couple of online exhibitions we've created. You can search our entire collections catalogue here. And what's super exciting is we can load our collections onto Culture Grid. No! Ah! It's a terribly easy way to share our museum with the World Wide Webby lot. We're often talking with our new friends abroad these days. There have, of course, been challenges implementing our digital strategy. Shoo, shoo, shoo. Getting to grips with social media, if I'm honest, we were all a bit in the dark about. But we decided it might be fun to give the museum a personality of its own. And now all the staff tweet and use Facebook quite happily. Top tip, though. Do think through what kinds of things you're going to talk about on social media and give your team some guidance. We mainly use it to highlight events and talk about interesting objects. Would you believe we've got over 8,000 followers? It's like being famous. Keep up. This is the bit I'm really keen on showing you. Going global has inspired us. We're going to really jazz up our permanent collection with a digital projection of the Mad Hatter's Tea Party. It will play on the wall behind the High Tea Exhibition. And we've already installed a tablet computer, giving extra information about the objects on display. Visitors love it. We do have other plans in our strategy. And because, well, I'm digital, you can press pause now and take a look. Before I go, can I just offer a tip or two? First of all, keep your digital strategy short and manageable. It's a useful way of organising your museum's approach to technology. But remember, digital is simply a way of sharing information and a fun way of talking to your audience. Also, think about how best to manage your collections, create priorities for digitisation, and get the right equipment. Bring your whole team on board. We had a really jolly day thinking about how we could use social media and what our museum's persona would be. Make digital part of what you do. Whenever you work on a new project, think about how technology could be used. Finally, once you're up and running, remember to keep your digital strategy healthy. Just like my prize-winning begonias, it'll need feeding and pruning by your team on a regular basis. 
Feed it with new images and research, new exhibitions and comments, and remove what no longer works for you. Keep it in bloom and the bees of curiosity will be buzzing in your exhibition spaces for years to come. Tally-ho!